The hurricane season has opened. The season has opened with eight storms anticipated, three becoming hurricanes, and an expectation of one named storm. And as many of us already know, it only takes one. Joining us live tonight to talk about the season as it opens, Chief Meteorologist Basil Dean. Now, Basil, first let's talk about that. Eight storms, three hurricanes, one major storm. Well, how is that in, ter in terms of how popular and how profound this season is? Well, first of all, one small correction, Christopher. It's seven Sir. named storms we went through just before the news got. Three of those will become hurricanes, and out of those three, one a major hurricane. And that means that we anticipate a below average hurricane. And uh, if we want to put that in perspective, uh, during the course of uh, any tropical cyclone season, we average about 12 named storms. Out of those 12, we usually get about six hurricanes and three major uh, storms. So you can see there will be a significant reduction in those uh, numbers at uh, this particular particular season. Reason being, we do have that weak El Nino in place and with El Nino in place, it means that we're going to have a lot of subsidence over the Atlantic, coupled with some strong upper level westerlies, which are not conducive for tropical cyclone development. In addition to that, also the sea surface temperatures, they are below average and you know we need warm sea surface temperatures in order to start triggering our, our those systems. So they are some of the uh, indicators that are not pointing in a positive direction for tropical cyclone development. Now, Basil, even though it is a below average season that's being predicted, does that mean that that one named storm could very well possibly be a low category one or two, or does that imply that it could be a very big storm upwards to a three, four, even a five? Or are the conditions just not there for anything that can form that, much, that big? Very good point, Christopher. All we need is that one, and whether it's a Category 1, whether it's a tropical storm, all of these systems have the potential to uh, create uh, quite a bit of damage. If tropical storms can lead to extensive flooding, uh, which can uh, cause quite a bit of uh, damage. And then, of course, if you have the Categories 2, 3, and 4, that makes it even a little bit more worse. But what we need to do is be prepared for that one that is expected to uh, affect our community. Hence, Readiness is the key word. Preparedness, I should say, should be the buzzword throughout 2015.